Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a Sega game on a Nintendo console. What has happened to the world? Is hell frozen over? No, we are simply in the year 2005 where Nintendo and Sega have put aside their differences in order to create games. I mean, they didn't actually collaborate on this, but this is a Sega game on a Nintendo console. If you had told me when I was a kid that one day we'd see sequels to awesome Sega Genesis games on a Nintendo handheld device, the Game Boy Advance, I would have thought you were crazy. I would have said you're not from the future. I don't know how, why you're claiming to travel through time, but I wouldn't have believed you, but I would have been wrong. So this game is Gunstar Superheroes. It's interesting how Super is in the middle of the, the name, by the way, because uh, it reminds me of the era when people were putting Super in front of everything, like Super Nintendo, Super Battletoad, Super Double Dragon, Super Castlevania. And this one is like Gunstar Superheroes. It's not Super Gunstar Heroes, but it's Gunstar Superheroes. Anyway, here's the backstory. I'm kind of like talking over it. You guys might have been reading it, paying attention. You'll know more about what's going on than I do. I know this game has six levels, and in Europe it's called Gunstar Future Heroes. So I do know some things. Um, Gunstar Future Heroes, by the way, actually sounds like an awesome title. Um, before we get going, though, just one last thing to say about this game. So this game is a sequel, obviously, to Gunstar Heroes, which you've already played on the channel, which was a classic Sega Genesis game. The original game came out in 1993. This game, this sequel, came out in 2005. So if you were a fan of the first Gunstar Heroes, they were making a sequel for 12 years. And that is a long time to wait for sequels. Though it does kind of remind me about Hollywood's big push in uh, the last several years. Uh, to sort of make sequels to, to movies that are really, really old. So, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a sign of the times uh, in, in a weird way. Anyway, the Gunstar superheroes have to save the day from some kind of evil collaboration of bad guys, etc., 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 and we are playing a Sega game on a Nintendo console. All right, so we get our choice between red and blue. I don't know if it makes a lick of difference at all. Control, normal, bright. All right, looks good to me. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and start with red, and if we're not liking how things are going, we can always make the switch to blue. Um, now one thing, oh, and normal or easy? Normal or easy? Let's go with normal, because we're adults. I feel like, I feel bad picking easy uh, on, on games, uh, even though I've never played this before. I probably should have picked easy to give you guys a better show. You know what, if we fail, we'll play with blue on easy, so how about that? And we're going to start some new data. Now, I don't know a lot about Gunstar Heroes. I didn't really play it back in the day uh, when it came out. I knew it was a franchise that everyone loved. I knew the sequel here was a franchise that everyone loved. Um, but one thing I always knew about Gunstar Heroes is that uh, you could combine weapons. It was like Contra in that you could pick we weapon power-ups, but you could hold two at a time, and they would combine to produce unique weapons. That feature is actually missing here in Gunstar Heroes, so I'm kind of surprised... Um, but let's, let's go ahead and give it a shot and sort of see how it plays, even though that major change has been made. Anyway, communication blackout, but our defense system, go in, go and investigate Gunstars, and be careful. Gunstar is such an awesome name. Roger, this is Red, reporting for duty. I will go and investigate. And, okay, he's, he's just got, <laughs> he's just got a gun. Uh, it's, it's like a Robocop gun. It's like a little, uh, handheld gun. Oh, that guy just, that just ate like a billion bullets before dying. That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, we just got like a little handheld Robocop gun that like just powers through people here. This is totally awesome. Um, one thing I like about the Game Boy Advance, by the way, is that it's not what I would consider a classically retro console. Um, and, and people will debate me on this, by the way. So like for me, uh, when somebody says, would you like to play a retro game? I'm picturing anything from, oh, this is cool. We're kind of like, uh, this is like um, Total Recall. Or like in the police scanner or whatever. But when someone says, would you like to play a retro game? I picture anything ranging from Pac-Man to like the Super Nintendo, you know? Um, and PC games that are, were out around the same time. But what I don't picture is like PS2, Xbox, you know, Game Boy Advance. Like I picture the original Game Boy. Just don't happen to pick. I mean, the Advanced was out in like 2005. So uh, it, it's quite old or it's quite new compared to something like Pac-Man, which was out in the 70s. So, uh, but one thing I do like about the Game Boy Advance is even though it is newer than what I would typically consider retro, um, and you can, you can fight me if, if, you, uh, if, if you have a different definition of retro, that's okay. Um, but I like the fact that, um, oh my god, 
Oh, jeez, I just blew stuff up. We gotta figure out how to pick stuff up, by the way. Um, I like the fact that it feels retro. Like, whatever you want to say about it, it's a very pixelated system with, like, uh, you know, lots of, like, pixels and stuff like that. Or you can do, like, a... What is this? Oh, like a, a, a little, uh, scoot. Okay, how do I break this, though? I want to figure that part out. Um, you can also do melee attacks in this game, which are kind of useful. Okay. Um, oh, I think I just switched weapons. Oh, there we go. So we have, like, okay, this is kind of like a, a blast mode. What's this? Oh, we have lasers! Yes, please. We're totally laser the crap out of these people. So, yeah, the, the, the Game Boy Advance has a pretty low resolution. I think its maximum uh, vertical resolution is only, like, 160 pixels. Oh, this guy's just having a seizure of lasers. <laughs> oh, damn it, we missed picking up the heart. Or maybe we picked it up. I don't know. I know in Gunstar Heroes, you had to, like, stop and press down over power-ups to pick them up, which I actually found super annoying. You didn't just pick it up by walking over it. So this one might have a similar mechanic. Anyway, he is General Gray, and we're too late. He already got what he wants. What are, what, where are the guards? What have you done to them? I erased them. I used the power of the megalith. What the heck is a megalith? Yellow here. I require help. <laughs> Do all the gun stars just have colors? Like red, blue, this girl's named Yellow. What happens when all the colors are taken? Do you go into like subcolors like uh, magenta pink or like turtle green here, you know? Um, there's no warning. Where did it come from? You cannot comprehend the power of the megalith. Soon everyone will bow to the power of the empire. Uh, Absilo Mundus. The name's a freaking nightmare. Um, okay, well, guess what? Shoot, I've got to get back to Yellow. I'm just going to continue shooting. In games like this, it is uh, like a newbie mistake to not shoot. Like in Contra, if you're ever not shooting, if your finger is not on B the entire game, you're playing it wrong. Like you just need to be constantly firing in these kinds of games. Oh god, what is that? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's like shooting bubbles at us. Maybe can I like... Oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. How do we get these? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out in time. We might have to look that up. Maybe I'll pause the game and look it up between levels here. But anyway, yeah. What do you guys consider retro, by the way? I, I know that, uh, like, I think I think the term retro, for me, kind of, like, caps out at around the 90s. You know, anything past the 90s isn't quite retro, in my opinion. But I know a lot of people, like, grew up with the PS1 and even the PS2. And, like, to them, like, that is what, you know, they think of when they say retro games. Um, the, the best analogy I can think of is if somebody told me there was a new retro game in town and we walked into the store and they didn't have any Atari and no NES, but they had tons of Xbox and PS2 systems, I would kind of be like, this isn't really retro, man. This isn't, you know, exactly what I would, would have called retro. Um, but to some people that is retro, so I don't know. I, I think eventually, though... Um, to anyone out there who's kind of like, well, Jay, you know, like, I grew up with the PS1, and that's retro to me, so, you know, your, like, caveman definitions of capping off at the Super Nintendo, they don't really apply to everyone. Like, that's all well and good, but wait for 10 years, man, when, uh, kids are telling you the PS3 is retro, and you're gonna be like, what? The PS3 is not retro, and then you're gonna realize my, uh, my life, and you're gonna say, oh, actually, maybe you had a point that at some point we have to draw a line between retro, otherwise the word retro games doesn't mean anything. Um... I used to think that maybe we could come up with a new term for systems that were uh, newer than... Uh, I'm going to switch weapons here to see if this 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 works. Uh, the enemy has 182 hit points left. Uh, I feel like he's dying very slowly. And what is he? He's, he's like trying to hit me with, some, with somebody who's captured. I guess that's yellow. He's trying to like hit me with uh, with my own teammates. He's throwing a person at me. That is That is quite the enemy. Yeah, this weapon is way better for killing him. Um, but I used to think that maybe we could come up with a new term for, like, more newer retro games, like the PS2 and Xbox and stuff. But I don't think that's ever going to catch on. I think people will always use retro just to mean, like, nostalgic things. But I think what will have to happen eventually is you'll need a term like classical retro or, like, original retro to refer to stuff from the 70s, 80s, and possibly the 90s. And then, like, you'll just use retro games to refer to everything that's a little older than that. You know, maybe maybe modern retro will be a term. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we got a new record, guys. We totally blew through that level. So we're going to totally go ahead and take total credit for that. 
Um, I have to say, the fact that I didn't have to pick up weapons and I could just randomly switch between three different types of guns wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. It didn't feel 100% like gun stars to me in this first level here, but we're going to keep going with this. I mean, it, it graphically looked very gun starry. The weapons felt very gun starry. But Gunstar Heroes, you know, it, it's about picking up weapons and merging interesting weapon combos together, I always thought. So it's interesting how they just went in a totally different direction here. Anyway, Three Eyes seems to have vanished, but it's so hard to believe. Excluding us. Wait, I called it Three Eyes. Three Yi. Oh man, it looks like it's I, but it's like spelled with like leet speak, like three instead of an E. So it looks like it, the, the organization is called I, but it's kind of like hip because it's using a three anyway. Uh, excluding us, 3E no longer exists in any form. No longer exists? What does that mean? My guy's so panicked. I don't know, but the stolen data may prov I like to think she's just talking in totally calm voice and he's like freaking the F out. Um, the stolen data may provide a clue. It says each of the four moons has a treasure gem. The, the, the legendary gem said to call forth the god of ruin. Uh, but weren't they destroyed along with the destructor? This guy is super skeptical. Um, yes, but recall how four moons appeared after that battle. I think these gems have been regenerating in the moons. She's like just totally like expressionless as she talks. And now they've awakened. Hmm. If so, they must have the same purpose. To awaken the god of ruined gold and silver again. So, history repeats itself once more. Now we know what the Empire wants. We were aptly named somehow I have a feeling of deja vu. Well, meet pink, orange, and smash. <laughs> what irony. Uh, we Will we meet pink, orange, and smash? Wait, those are names of people? Okay, so they are named after colors, but I guess they ran out of colors. And one guy got named Smash. Which is pretty awesome. Well, we better get to the four moons before the Empire. Roger! <laughs> I like thinking that the girl is just totally disinterested in her job. Oh, we actually get to pick the level. That's kind of cool. So we're on a quest to get infinity stones. Let's start with... Oh, we've already been to the main station. Let's uh, let's save Sky Road because I feel like that could be interesting. Let's go with Unblinking City. Whatever the heck that means. This is the city that doesn't blink. All right, so then they just go through a bit of dialogue while they talk about uh, getting the power gems on it. Do we have an infinity gauntlet to hold these things once we get it? Oh, it's a top-down shooter. The unblinking city. Boy, they certainly mix up the gameplay here. Very interesting. I like it. Um, so now this sort of feels like, uh, you know, 1943 or like, what are the other, like, top-down arcade shooters? I was going to say, like, Gradius and stuff like that, but, like... Gradius is like a side scroller. This is like a vertical scroller, so that's interesting. And the buildings are actually kind of like in 3D, which is kind of cool. Ow! How dare you? Can we just like fly over this or. <laughs> like, what am I allowed to kill and, and what am I not? Oh, I can drop bombs, I think. I don't know if this is doing anything. Alright, we killed a tank. So you can kill tanks. Interesting. Okay, can we just do both? I can't. Oh god, I'm like, I'm like taking shots here from this thing. Okay, let's just keep on going. Oh, look at these guys. Can I bomb them? Oh my god, I'm like flying into them. I don't know what I can bomb and what I cannot bomb, so... We're just we're just gonna hope that uh, we have enough health to make it through this level. Oh god, I got- Oh! Twice! Twice! Electrocuted. Jeez. You know, the, the, the fact that there's so little screen real estate because the Game Boy Advance has such a low resolution actually really makes this part challenging. Oh my god, there's stuff flying at us from every freaking direction. How am I supposed to dodge this? Look how ridiculous this is. Thank god I have health. Thank god. That's the only thing that got me through it. It was not skill. It was the fact that I had some health. Jeez. Okay, now where to? Forward? Man, this is the whole vertical level. It's crazy. I thought, uh, I, I thought definitely that would just be the intro stage, but maybe this whole level is vertical. Very interesting. Um, it is nice, by the way, having health in this game. It kind of makes the game feel like Contra, but like a little more reasonable. Oh! <laughs> oh, I just died right away. Okay. Uh, alright, those are my initials. Uh, no, those, those are them. Those, these are they. What? Game over? That's totally it! One life?! Okay, I was gonna say it was nice having health compared to Contra, which this game reminds me of, because in Contra, 
um, you die after one hit. I would have been dead a thousand times there. But at least Contra gives you extra lives. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? All right. Well, I, I guess let's breeze through this level again. Um, we'll do this real quickly. Actually, let me let me skip to the boss here because we don't we don't need to see this whole level again. I want I want to see some of the new levels. Uh, one of the nice things, though, that I will say is um, oh, he has a different default gun. That's kind of cool. Is that even even if oh god, look at all these guys, melee them, melee them, and shoot the helicopter. Even if I uh, I can't get very far in this game and I, I can't pass any levels, at least we get to select our stage. So we'll get to see four or five of the six levels. Because there's only six levels in this entire game. There's this intro level and then four other stages to get the infinity gems. And then after that, there's probably a boss stage and that's pretty much it. Um, I love the creativity of this. This whole like x-ray scene anyway. Hey, by the way, look, you can do a uh, you can do a kick in the air by double tapping jump. You do like a uh, ninja kick. Yeah. And I also still have yet to figure out how to actually pick something up. Yeah. It's actually the ninja kick's actually super useful for jumping over guys. Let's see if we can pick up something this guy drops. Down and B. Oh, I did get it. Oh, okay. So down and B is all we needed. All right. Well, I just figured it out. I right, we made it back to the evil general. Which is, uh, which is good, I guess. Um, you know, speaking of Contra, by the way, um, it is interesting how this 1001 Games Just Play Before You Die book includes both of the Gunstar games, which I don't disagree with, by the way, but it includes none of the Contras, except Contra 3. Um, actually, and I think it includes a few other modern Contras. It, it's kind of weird, because, like, in my head, in my mind, and again, I could be biased here from when the era in which I was born, but like Contra 1 and even Super C were like the Contras that like I knew the best as a kid. And like definitely, oh look at this, oh, oh man, we missed the power up so well. Turns out mealing is actually pretty effective. Um, but like I definitely played Contra 3, but like Contra, Contra for the NES and like Super C, those were like Contras that I played a lot as a kid. And I would definitely say they're very classically retro games. So I'm I'm surprised that they're. Uh... Oh look, he does like a he does like a power fist jump. He's like I'm number one. Oh god, um, I'm very surprised that they're not included in the uh, in the book. We can. Uh... Oh, I was gonna try and like upper punch his face. Yeah. Oh, there you go. He doesn't like that though. I think that does like a hell of a lot of damage to him though. So it turns out melee in this game is actually pretty useful. Boom! Oh, we just killed him! Oh my god, a couple of punches! So, uh, anyone familiar with One Punch Man? Because apparently, punching is way more powerful than shooting in this game. <laughs> he got sucked up in the teleporter, looked like he was in, like, physical pain during that whole process. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Alright, we will again be the gamer known as Jay. Um, so yeah, like definitely I would have included at least Contra for the NES uh, in the 1001 book. Um, if not also Super C. I feel like Super C is less popular, so I could see leaving that one out. But Contra for the NES, man. I mean, like that's that's popular. Um, even today, like you know how you can tell an NES game is good? It's expensive. Well, it doesn't guarantee it because it could just be one that was a bad game and nobody bought it back in the day. But... Um, Contra is actually fairly expensive. It's like 40 or 50 bucks nowadays. Um, along with another one of my favorites I know is pretty expensive, uh, River City Ransom. And, you know, you compare that to some other NES titles, they're just super cheap because, you know, they're not as good. Like, Contra, Contra's a good game, man. Contra's a good game. Uh, anyway, let's try out Force Canyon. I kind of want to... We'll do Black City last, and then we'll do Sky Road. So we already did a, a flying one. Now we're going to try a canyon. And hopefully I can pass this. Um, we'll see how this goes. Um, and off she goes, giving us more background. Blah, 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 blah. We don't need mission briefings. We are, we are gamers. We, we, run, we hold B through all dialogue. Oh, he's riding some kind of weird cheetah thing. And you know what? At least, oh my god. And he can like, the cheetah can fly. The cheetah can hover. Oh my god. He can like fly in three different like uh, aerial spaces. Wow. You know, they definitely did not slack in terms of variety of gameplay stages. How how interesting. Huh. Cool. Like, there's so much going on the screen, like, I can't really see what I'm doing, and I just 
Hope I'm not dying. There we go. We got the health. Yeah. I do just like the fact that you have to stop and, like, manually pick stuff up. I feel like that is, like, one one sort of unrealistic, unrealistic thing about video games that, like, everyone just likes. The fact that, like, Link can just walk over a rupee and pick it up. He doesn't have to, like, stab it unless you're playing those terrible Philips CDI, you know, games. Oh, this is, like, there's a level like this, by the way, in the original Gunstar Heroes, where you're, like, in a mine track and you had to, like, hop between different walls and stuff. Very neat. Very neat. You know, if this is just was just a lazy game, they would have figured out the mechanics for him running around and jumping, and they wouldn't have added these, like, crazy interesting levels. They would have been like, whatever. Kids don't need variety. Screw them. But this is very interesting. Also, what the hell am I riding? It's some kind of, like, crazy robo-cheetah. I love it. <laughs> totally awesome. <laughs> Um, I think I still can't get over the fact, by the way, because this level is like totally from the Sega Genesis version. I can't get over the fact that we're playing a Sega Genesis game, essentially, on a Nintendo console. You know what's interesting is like Nintendo and Sega, like, they hated each other in like the 80s and 90s. Like, like if you were at a dinner party and Nintendo and Sega both attended in human form, that would be the most awkward dinner party ever. It would be like more awkward than the dinner that had to ensue after Darth Vader captured Han Solo in Cloud City, but then invited them in for dinner. Like wh what an awkward dinner that must have been. Like what the hell do you talk about um, in that dinner? So like that's what the dinner between Nintendo and Sega would have been like back in the day. But I feel like once Sony kind of stole the, the show with the, uh, with the PlayStation, and suddenly kicked Nintendo off of number one. All of a sudden, Nintendo kind of put made bygones be bygones. They were like, look, Sega, we didn't like each other for a long time. But now we got Sony that's trying to kill us all. And we got Microsoft that's coming in. We don't know what they're going to do. You know, Nobody knew if Microsoft would be successful or what when they entered the gaming market. Nintendo is probably just like, now it is like a battle of survival, man. Like, we, we just got to survive. So it's like old enemies become new allies. Um... And that's basically what happened. Like, now Nintendo and Sega are, like, pretty chummy-chummy. And, like, Sega... Does Sega make games? They must. I was going to say, does Sega make games for PlayStation and Xbox? I can't think of any off the top of my head. But they totally must. Um, they can't be exclusive to Nintendo. But if they are, like, good for Nintendo, man. Like, they really... They really rocked it up. Uh, by turning, like, uh, that, that... You know, the dastardly Segas... You know, Sega used to run commercials that was like, Sega does what Nintendo don't. Like, they specifically targeted Nintendo in their ads to try and make them look dumb. And, uh, you know, now who works for who? Boom! I only have 14 health left, and we're totally screwed now. <laughs> Man, that enemy, he was just like a huge guy the size of the screen that just decimated me. Alright, so we failed on the moon. Yeah, let's record that score for all to see. Uh, licensed by Nintendo. Okay, can, can we actually continue here? Like, how does this work? What's the point of saving the data if every time... Here we go, continue. So this I don't like. When you die, you have to, like, go right back to the start of the game. Oh, but maybe... Can we pick up where we left off? Oh, we can! Oh, okay, so there are checkpoints. So that's not too bad. Uh, why couldn't they just give you extra lives, though? That's one thing I'm wondering. Why can't they just give you extra lives? I don't know. Um, by the way, actually, you know what? You know how I was talking about Contra just a little while uh, ago? About how, like, you know, Contra should have been in the book. And this game kind of feels very Contra-y. Um, I forgot. I, I had this written down. But did you know that Gunstar's Heroes here... Oh, God. Is, uh, is created by a company called Treasure. And Treasure was started by X konami employees and konami is the the company that made uh that made contra so like in a weird way this is kind of like a spiritual successor to contra it's kind of interesting like i i never usually think about that when i'm when i'm playing you know all all the two times i've ever played gunstar heroes but it is kind of true in a weird way this this really is sort of like contra this is like what contra could have been um, oh my god, look at all these things. Oh, oh god. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Oh, we got him. We got him. I have 82 health. We're doing pretty good. Stage clear! Oh, we actually passed the boss! Okay, I think what I was doing wrong before is I was trying to aim the gun, but if you just shoot, and my hand is not on the d-pad right now, he automatically kind of aims at the boss. So we did it! Also, I sh totally should have tried different weapons there. I forgot. I forgot that I have different weapons. So sue me. 
Uh, Gunstar Green, how can you be working for the Empire? Oh, he's a Gunstar. I cannot discuss this now till we meet again. <laughs> I can't tell you why I turned evil, but it's an interesting story. I will tell you later. I'll, I'll IM you. I'll IM you, man. They're retreating. The green treasure gem was acquired. It's like I got the Triforce of Wisdom, boys. Yeah. Yellow's brother was gone. What could have caused green to work for the Empire? I'm going to say better benefits. Possibly. All right, let's go for Skyro. Let's give this one a shot. We have the Triforce of Wisdom. Now it's time to get the Triforce of Power. Or actually, I guess because all these gems are like themed to an element, maybe it's like the Captain Planet rings. Like Earth, Water, Wind, Fire. You know, with, uh, you guys remember that show had like Geordi LaForge? Or no, wait, is that, that was Reading Rainbow. Wait, did Captain Planet have Geordi LaForge? I forget. It definitely had Whoopi Goldberg, if I'm not mistaken. So it had some kind of Star Trek, the next generation reference. Ow. Oh my god, you can turn this? Jeez, man, they tried everything in this game to like play with uh, play with dimensions. Like we had a top-down level, we had a running on a dog through a mine level, jumping on different planet surfaces. Now we have a flying forward towards the camera, rotating 360 degrees sideways level. Which I gotta say, you don't see these levels that often, you know. For for everything we can say about Gunstar Heroes, you don't see a level like this very often where your character is just in the middle of the screen and you get to like rotate around very interesting a plus for creativity i'll say a plus <laughs> uh, did you guys own a game boy advance by the way i know i said it like you know it wasn't like classically retro to me but like that's not a dig at the game boy advance it just sort of means like you know when i was growing up like you know i grew up on things like uh, atari nes super nintendo so i kind of think of that as retro uh, Game Boy Advance was a little uh, after my time. I was kind of like in university at the time, so I wasn't really into handheld gaming anymore. I had a PC and I played like Warcraft 3 and stuff with my buddies. But, uh, so I didn't own a Game Boy Advance. But did you guys own a Game Boy Advance? It seems like a pretty solid system. And again, like I like the fact that its resolution is so low. In a weird way, it still feels retro, even though like temporally or chronologically the year it came out, was probably past the point when I would have said so like was like the classic retro era. Um, you know, you could still consider it retro, but like you got you gotta give me at least that it's a classic retro era where you could differentiate like the Super Nintendo and Atari era from uh, from like the PS2 kind of era. Anyway, I don't know why I keep getting on this rant. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go. Hey look another side scrolling level. Finally. Finally. Um, I'm kinda surprised at this point that they put these levels in considering it's like it almost seems like they uh, did everything they could to get away from a typical side-scrolling level. But this is like the first level of the Sega Genesis, uh, of the Sega Genesis uh, Gunstar Heroes. Uh, but anyway, did you own a Game Boy Advance? Did you own one? Did you like one? I loved my Game Boy when I was growing up. I loved it. I played everything on that. Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, Mario 2, Wario World. Um, I think I even had Terminator 2, the arcade game. On that, on that thing, and I could beat it. It wasn't a very good port of it, but I could totally beat it because I spent enough time playing it. I feel like by the time the Game Boy Advance came out, it's like Nintendo really had no equal when it came to uh, first-person shooters. Oh my god, look at these things. I'm oh, just gonna jump over this guy. I don't know, there's a weird worm crawling towards him. We're gonna avoid it. And also, there's a bunch of tiny green people following me. I don't know what this is about. We're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. Oh, let's totally switch weapons. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now we have the homing. The homing weapon. Oh, he he hit me. Not dick move, man. Dick move. All right, this is easy. The homing weapon is pretty good. I think the homing weapon doesn't do a lot of damage, but if it keeps me alive, I will definitely take it. Hey -o. oh, ah! Tried to drop kick that worm thing in its face, it's like fighting a plant, like out of Joe and Mac or something. But yeah, there was really no equal to Nintendo back when uh, the Game Boy Advance came out, at least in terms of handhelds. Like, I looked it up, and the competitors to the Game Boy Advance, do you guys know what they were? It was the Neo Geo Pocket, the Wonder Swan, the GP32, the Tapwave Zodiac, and the N-Gage. And what, what is this? Like a, it's like a plant strawberry that you can just eternally shoot? That's kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, of all those competitors, like, I think I've heard of two. Like, the Neo Geo Pocket sounds like a thing. And, oh, this is a weird level. And what, what was the other thing? Uh, I've heard of the Wonder Swan. That's like a, a Japanese console that had a lot of, um... Oh, God! Weird. Had a lot of, like, Japanese RPGs and stuff, I think. 
So yeah, the Wonder Swan and the Neo Geo Pocket. What the hell is a GP32? No idea. The Tap Wave Zodiac. Yeah, never heard of that one. The N Gauge. Actually, maybe I've heard of the N Gauge. But even these systems that I've heard of, I still don't 100% know what they are. Like, I don't think I've ever even seen a Neo Geo Pocket in my whole life. So... <laughs> What am, what am I trying to do here? Save all the birds? Is that what I'm trying to... Is what am, what's, what's my goal of accomplishment here? Just get all the birdies, maybe? Oh, run, 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 run! Okay, we have a lot of the birds. Oh, yeah, nice try. Look at this. We saved, like, a billion of the birds. Oh, my God! No, 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 no! Oh, he got them all back, though. Okay. So, I... I don't think I even need to shoot in this level. Let's just uh, let's just try and do this without shooting. Okay, come on. Oh God, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Maybe I can just like exit. There we go. Oh, we saved a bunch of them. Oh, so when I had like a, a billion of them behind me, I should have just tried to exit the level there. And we'll jump to avoid that guy. Just keep running. I guess I could be scooting around here. Could, uh, oh god. What is that thing? Can we kill it, by the way? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, we saved a bunch more of the birds. How many are left? Five, it says. Oh god. <laughs> okay, we almost got him. Oh god, he got me. Touche, good sir. Touche. Okay, we got one, two, three. Okay, well, we got three. There's only two more left this whole level. So who knew that the Gunstar Heroes would, would take a bit of time out of their busy, you know, busy schedule to like protect the world to like save a couple birds. They're like, you know what? You know what we can't abide is uh, the death of, of little birdies. There's two. Oh, there they are. It's like, where are these things? There we go. All right, we saved all the birdies. Oops, I think in this odd rotating level. Boom, there, boom. So yeah, Nintendo Game Boy Advance, competing with New Geo Pocket, Wonder Swan, GP32, Tapwave Zodiac, N-Gage. These are like ma majorly kind of, like mostly kind of no-name consoles in my opinion. Like, uh, they they may be known to you, but like I've never heard of these things. And it, it kind of feels like if Coke was competing against like Mr. Bips, Soda Drink, Ice Stuff, and like, I don't know, Green and Fuzzy 38, you know? Like, like just sort of, like, rando sodas that you're like, oh, that's, that's a soda? You know, like the Tap Wave Zodiac. What the heck is that? I don't know. I'm sure they're actually good systems. Like, I've heard good things about the Wonder Swan, but because it's, like, in Japanese, and most of the games are in Japanese, I'll probably, like, never play it myself. Um, actually, I've, I think I've seen the, the Zodiac, or not the Zodiac, the Wonder Swan in YouTube videos. So I kind of, like, can picture it almost. I think it's a console that you can hold sideways or vertically, so that's kind of interesting. Oh my god. Did we just kill him? What the hell just happened? Oh. <laughs> he was just showing off before he teleported into the building, I guess. Now we're just like falling to our death. There we go. Uh, one thing about Gunstar Heroes that was true of the original. Ho ho ho! I'm the bounty hunter known as Pink. Interesting. I'm shooting Pink right in the groin of her robot. Okay, can we... Okay, there we go. We got it. We totally got to switch weapons here. We're going to try this one. Boom. Boom. And she's also got, like, two henchmen there. There we go. This is working. Down to 300. Oh, you, you're going down, pink. Ow. <laughs> okay, now I'm kind of, like, stuck here. I want to try and, like, get out. Yeah, that didn't work well for me. Ow, ow. Okay, go! Ow, I got stepped on. Okay, I'm just gonna try and kill her. Forget about trying to do this the smart way. Oh, look, you can just stand on her. Oh, that, that, that totally works. Pink, you're terrible. She's just like on the robot being like, oh, I'm being attacked. Somebody help me. <laughs> Remember this? Interesting. Oh, we passed the level. <laughs> I love when he gets teleported up that way. Oh my god. All right, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We got the power of Green and Fuzzy 38. I don't know. I just... <laughs> there should be a soda called Green and Fuzzy 38. I think that'd be awesome. Grandma, why are you so insolent, little boy? 
Um, wow. She, what, what is happening? She's like a foxy ex gun star and she's got like a couple of dudes who like fawn over her, who like carry her around. I mean, I don't blame them. I mean, look at her. She's dressed so provocatively, but. I am a lady of action and you'll see, you'll get spanked, but not just yet, boy. For now, we must go. Ho, ho, ho. All right, so I'm going to get spanked, guys. I mean, if she wants to spank me, I think I'll, I'll allow that. But uh, all right, we got the blue treasure gem. Poor Pink, what should she be called? Treasure Jam Sparkling and is trying to communicate. It's like the Mind Stone. All right, so let's try Black City. And maybe, actually, welcome to the Black Fortress. It looks like Casino Zone from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. The Black Fortress. All right, I'll, I'm game. I'll give every, anything a shot once. What a pain. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Yeah! Alright. These, like, nameless hench dudes. Boy, it really sucks for, for them to... Oh, God. To get in, involved in this little army here, because they're just getting their butts handed to them. By, like, one guy at a time. It's not like we're sending in blue and red. We're just literally we're like, well, let's, let's, let's let blue do it. Then if he can't handle it, it's like, alright, well, whatever. Send in red. You know, like, sending in both is just, like, excessive force. Um, let's switch to this. I feel like this gun is like explosive or something. I don't know if it does more damage or what. There we go. We got him. Um, having hit points is nice. I have 170 hit points. Definitely way nicer than, uh, than Contra, where you kind of got to constantly be worried, oh god, about falling to your death. Oh, that guy's trying to like upper punch me. What the heck? Oh my god, do we have to like melee someone? Ah, there we go. This is like a melee fight. It went all Street Fighter on us all of a sudden. I think that guy's like immune to bullets. Okay. How, do, how can we do this? I, <laughs> I, I I never really practiced meleeing. Okay, down and B. Okay, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, die. There we go. Jeez. I don't know if we had to melee that guy, but he seemed to want a melee fight and, you know, whatever. Okay, now what? Yeah, there we go. Oh, all right, we jump up this way and go this way. And jump down. All right. Ow. Oh God. Okay, now go, go, go. There we go. Interesting. Interesting. I also kind of feel a little like Mega Man. Like I know my guys technically have a gun, but we you're in the chaos of just like firing as many bullets as is humanly possible out of your hand. It feels like you have an arm cannon. Oh, what the heck is this? I don't even understand what the game is asking me to do right now. So I'm just gonna roll. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, interesting. I think this was also a level in the uh, in the Sega Genesis version. It was sort of like you had to like roll the dice and like face you know your opponent for like whoever you like randomly selected. Okay, we, we totally need the uh, totally need the homing homing laser for this one. The laser may be slow to kill things, but the fact that it always hits its target is what we're looking for here. Boom, boom. Oh my god, there's like nowhere to stand left. I'm kind of forced to just take that. Okay, and then I died. And then... Alright. So you're allowed to die in this. Oh, I'm fighting little people! It's a bunch of little people! A little dudes! Bunch of little guys. Oh god, they're, they're very vicious. They're very, these guys are very aggressive. Oh my God. Um, somebody help me. There's this little green dude and he's not taking no for an answer. He's turning into a fireball. Oh my God. He's like all over me too, man. Just back off, back off, back off. Okay, he's, he's immune to melee weapons. Oh God, oh my God. Man, he's like all over me. Get off, back off, dude. Okay, we're going for a different weapon. Try these. Just blow this guy up. Explode him. There must be like a thing where like um, different bad guys are vulnerable to like different weapons. Boom, there we go. All right. So now we get to roll. So this is like Mario Party. So I want one, two, three. I want four. Oh, but four is taken. Oh, God. Um, okay, I'll take five. Oh, no! Back! Ugh, that sucks. Okay, this this was the hard one that we, we definitely couldn't pass. Okay, hold on. Switch to this. 
Kill this. Okay, I'm just gonna use the default gun here. Seems like good enough. Oh god. But these missiles, these bombs are making my life very difficult. It's, oh! <laughs> I was gonna say, it's almost worth it to just take damage. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, we'll do one. Uh, what is this one? This is like the most level I've seen in this game so far. Oh, I'm like wall jumping? Barely. Oh, what am I supposed to like kill all these bubbles? Oh god. Kill them, kill them all, kill all the bubbles! Oh my god. Okay, we fell down here. This is where we're gonna be now. Okay. Okay, or maybe we'll go over this way. I don't know! I'm in a maze! Oh, I got shot by a laser! The bubbles are playing for keeps, man. Go, get in there! Yeah, wreck it all! There we go. We kill this thing here. I don't know what this is. Oh, pfft. some kind of like water cannon. Boom, there we go. All right, we're out. Now, oh my god. Okay, hold on. How, how do we, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we are out. We made it. I guess just tapping B repeatedly is the secret to kind of getting through that. And 36 seconds, where do I go? I'm killing all the bubbles. Does this satisfy you? Okay. Oh, I can go here. Here's a place I haven't been yet. There we go. Okay. The door opened somehow. Go, 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 go. Kill the bubbles. What kind of level is this anyway? Well, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I passed the level! My god, I can't believe I did it! I thought I was totally screwed. Okay, uh, let's just pick three. Let's be nice and safe. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. This is just like, pick some items. Pick some items that might be useful to you. Don't mind if I do. Boom. Take the health. How, how do I get over there? I want more health. There we go. Take this too. Nice little bonus stage to, uh, okay, come on. Give you the strength you need to continue on to this level. Oh, God. Okay, see how I have like a power bar up there that's that's kind of glowing, like where my weapons are? Well, apparently if you tap R twice, you do some kind of like crazy gunstar move. So I kind of want to like save that for a boss and then sort of see how that goes. Okay, now if I could get out of this level. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Okay, there we go. Do your ninja jumps! Ninja jumps! There we go. You have to get really good at wall jumping to do this. Alright, there we go. And... Okay, god. Um, man, this is like a surprisingly long level. Uh, two. Okay, I don't know what this is. Um, oh, just a side-scrolling level. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ugh, get, get off of me. Oh, these are these are like the melee guys. Okay, hold on. Oh god. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Boom. 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 Okay. I don't know. That kind of is like using the charge shop, but uh ow. Boom, there we go. Uh I don't know how to like sustain it. So I don't know. I guess it's good for bosses. We'll we'll give it a shot when we get to the next boss. So we pass this level? Oh, God. Oh, not this again. My God. It's crazy. Like, all the other levels in this game are, like, kind of short. This one's, like, oddly long. I don't know. I'm, like, uppercutting these guns this time around because, like, I feel like that's a good strategy, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. But it, as long as we keep the bombs away. Oh my god. I don't mind getting lasered a bit if we if we keep the bombs away. Hey oh and we're dead. <laughs> oh god. I feel like we're just gonna be trapped in these like random mini boss levels until we eventually die. I I I just don't see us beating this. There we go. Oh we beat that one actually. Okay. I, I take it back. Maybe we're more awesome than we think. Alright. I would love to roll a five, but it's so risky. So instead, oh, I was gonna go for a solid two, but I guess 
Or three, but I guess we'll take the two. Man among men. What the heck is this? I'm I'm fighting a blob. Okay. Just gonna continue to shoot it like this. Seems like a pretty solid strat if you ask me. <laughs> Love when these games have like little obvious exploits. Oh my god. Okay. Just gonna go back over here and continue to do what I was doing over there. Um, so I, we're slowly running down on health. I have a feeling that this this level is not going to be one that we end up beating. Which actually, if we had beat this level, I would have been tempted to go back and get the last uh, like Infinity Gem or whatever, so that we could uh, actually see the last level. But I feel like we're just getting trapped in this like. Oh my God, two. Oh my God. Okay, three, go. One, two, three. All right. Three, go forward. Wait, why does he keep going to the right? Oh, and it's this again. Yeah, I feel like we're not gonna beat this level. Um, so uh, I'm gonna start wrapping up actually. So Gunstar Superheroes here, we're dead right away, is one of the games in the book, a thousand and one video games you must play before you die. And I, I have to say like, I, oh God, going back one, oh my God. I have to say, like, I enjoy this game. I um, don't know if I would necessarily say this is better than the original Sega version, but it definitely is different. So it has a few things going for it. First of all, it's portable. So if you owned a Game Boy Advance back in the day, or even today, you can play this game on the go, which is always a plus. You know, portable gaming, um, even though I didn't own a Game Boy Advance uh, at the time when the Game Boy Advance was sort of out and big, I definitely loved my Game Boy back when I wanted portable gaming, and uh, portable gaming is awesome. So. This game can be played on the go, so that's a plus. I mean, I guess nowadays you could just play the original Sega Genesis version on emulator or whatever, so it's all portable, but whatever. Back in the day, it was cool. It is It is also like a pretty solid follow-up, I would say, to the original Gunstar Heroes. It is interesting how you no longer have to pick up power-ups and you can't mix and match your guns together, which I feel like is a slight downgrade compared to the original, but I did appreciate the fact that you could switch between weapons. So it's, I, I would say... It's not necessarily worse, actually. It's just different. Um, it is also a game that came out in 2005, but boy, does it feel retro in a good way, in a good way. Um, me being a retro gamer, I love, you know, old Sega Genesis, old Super Nintendo games. So to play a fairly modernish game that actually sort of harkened back to that era is something I am totally on board with. So I think they did a great job sort of modernizing Gunstar Heroes here. I would almost say rather than being a sequel though, it feels a bit more like a remake. Because some of the levels that we were playing, um, you could go and find comparable levels in the original Sega Genesis version. Um, now again, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing because kids who grew up on the Sega Genesis were, you know, older when the Game Boy Advance was big, and so maybe this introduced Gunstar Heroes to a whole new generation of kids. So, at the end of the day, I think this is a solid game. I think it will appeal to fans of the original. I think it will also appeal to people who've never played the original. I think you can pick it up and play it, and it's fun, and it's got all this sort of pixely, classic retro gaming nostalgia to it. So yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I don't know if it's iconic enough or... Uh, sort of good enough for me to say that you must play this, but I definitely am going to give this one sort of a thumbs up. I enjoyed it. So those are my thoughts on Gunstar Superheroes here, guys, or Gunstar Future Heroes, if you're in Europe. What do you guys think of this game? Have you played it before? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you disagree? Do you have, like, memories or tips that you could share with us in the comments? Whatever the case may be, feel free to uh, join the discussion down below. I love hearing from you guys, as always. And uh, as always, whatever you think about the game, hopefully I've made today entertaining. Hopefully my banter and uh, witchy dialogue has entertained you this fine afternoon or evening or morning or whenever you happen to be watching this. And uh, if it has, don't forget to like the channel. Um, don't, for or don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. Um, definitely it helps me when uh, the channel is growing and when videos are getting liked and commented on and so on and so forth. So, um, that's it for me for today. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. And until we meet again, you all take care of yourselves and keep playing those great, great retro games. All right, guys. Peace.